I think it's uh, it's so important that a player has the opportunity of representing their country, especially in a World Cup. And this is a World Cup uh, warm-up friendly match. They're playing against Chile and Korea, and they have an opportunity of making the squad if they turn up there. If they don't turn up there, their opportunities are diminish a lot more. So we would never be a club that prevents someone from going to a World Cup. And uh, and we've got a squad of 22 players, and, and it gives someone else a chance to step up, uh, just like Michael Boxall stepped up last week, and he was absolutely outstanding. So overall, there's, there's five out. There's the two Costa Ricans on national duty, and um, of course, Eiffel and Fenton, but now Matthew Redenton has got a, he's tweaked his knee, and so we're giving him a rest. But the uh, positive is Rhys Kaira is, is back. He played a couple of games in the under-22s. He's pretty fit and he's healthy, so he'll meet us in Brisbane. And I was just looking at Jason Hicks coming back into the squad, maybe Roofer, Josh Brindle South. We haven't decided yet. Luke Adams. So we've got a few youngsters that will get an opportunity, I'd say. That decision I'll be making overnight. Um, so it's good that we have two players to choose from. So Jason Hicks and Stein, uh, I'll make that decision overnight. And of course, we won't reveal it so we don't help the opposition too much. But both have shown they can play the role very well. Jeremy, to me, has, has been the same at training throughout the year. He's, uh, and he hasn't actually broken a drought, which was mentioned in, in the newspapers. He's actually scored his third goal this year. And remember, Danny McBreen, the top goal scorer last year, has only scored one. So it's just the nature of being a very good striker. You, usually there's two players on you, there's more pressure on you, there's a the crowd expectation on you, and he copes it really well. He's always been a terrific trainer, but to see him come off the bench in the 83rd minute and score two minutes later and it was such an accurate strike then then you know that on game day he's ready to go and he'll be back in the starting lineup. Albert Herrera certainly impressed when we played against Auckland City. He, he trialed very impressively and, and what you discover when the trials how coachable they are and Albert's very coachable. He came in as a backup. He's now we're now looking for a backup for Albert Riera. He's playing some fantastic football. He's come up to the standard. He's excelled himself. He's just he's just having a great time, and it's a really good story for a 30-year-old. So very impressed with him. Louis Fenton's shoulder operation went extremely well. Done through keyhole surgery. I don't know how to do that. It's quite amazing. And uh, he's on the rehab now. So unfortunately, it'll be a, a while, eight or nine months. But with a bit of luck, he'll be ready for pre-season training next year. Well, I've always said that it's not about turning points. It's uh, it's about a, a work in progress and continuing to prove, improve in every area. But there's no doubt that, that that was a bit of a statement that what we're capable of and uh, the bar is higher and the level of expectation is higher and our players have got to cope with that level of expectation and the pressure that brings. And after all, any pressure you do have, you bring on yourself. So it's about really being focused on what your job is and doing your job well. I, I, I don't think there's any doubt that being... Uh, being competitive footballers, winning 5-0 uh, gives you a bit of a buzz and certainly a spring in the step. And uh, the boys are, are, have thoroughly enjoyed that, but as I explained to them at the meeting this morning, you, you can't get too high from a result like that. Similarly, you can't get too low from being beaten 3 or 4 now. Uh, it's about being stable, doing your job, but certainly enjoy the moment. OK, this is a good story. Um, uh, I, I, as a coach... For quite a few years, uh, I've discovered that there's just so much ability in the dressing room, not not just on the pitch. So at the last minute, minute I sprung on Andrew Durante and Vince Lea to do the two-minute pre-match team talk. Unfortunately, he did it extremely, both did it extremely well, and we won 5 0 So I think I'm making my job more and more redundant. But they, the two of them did a great job, but they're not doing it this week. <laughs> Unless we lose, I'll probably tell everyone they did it. <laughs> I think it's a bit early to say it's a benchmark because it's not our full squad and it's it's away from home. I just think you get your benchmark through an array, a range of games, a range of stats and information and it doesn't always come down to one or two games. There's no doubt that Brisbane Roar are a very good team. They've got an excellent squad of players. They're very competitive and they're by far at the top of the league with several points in hand. So playing them in Brisbane in their own ground in front of their own crowd is going to be a real challenge for us but if we stick to our job we'll be very competitive 
we know that the, the expectation has risen all the time. This is going to be maybe a reality check. But what I'll be impressed with is the performance more than the result.